you said recently you thought there was evidence of collusion. What kind of evidence have you seen? What can you tell us? Well, I think there is evidence. Uh, I can't go into the particulars uh, of our closed investigation, but I also think there's evidence of obstruction. But in both cases, I would say uh, whether there is some evidence doesn't mean that there is proof beyond a reasonable doubt. The same people that say that there's no evidence of collusion say there's no evidence of obstruction, and the president indeed cannot commit obstruction. Uh, I don't buy that. Uh, if you look at James Comey's testimony, and we were trying this in the court of law, no judge would exclude that. That would all be relevant evidence as to potential obstruction. Uh, and the fact that the president can fire someone uh, for good cause or can fire someone with no cause doesn't mean that he can fire someone for malicious cause. The fact that an employer can terminate an employee at will doesn't mean that he can fire an employee because the employee rejected their sexual advances. Congressman, so I, 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 want, I want to go uh, back to the collusion uh, yeah. and the evidence. I know you can't talk about specific evidence, but, but he says Dianne Feinstein has said there's no evidence of collusion. So collusion between whom? Can you tell us that? Well, the, you know, the allegation, of course, is that the Russians in the hacking and dumping of documents in the election um, had uh, essentially relationships with Trump campaign people uh, and coordinated those efforts. Now, the FBI opened an investigation into that issue in July, well before Congress did. Uh, I think they did that for good reason in July. I think they maintain that investigation. It's ongoing for good reason as well. Uh, but I'm not prepared to say that there's proof you could take to a jury, but I can't say that there is enough that we ought to be investigating. Indeed, it would be negligent for us not to investigate. And the principal reason is, Martha, that if a foreign government, in this case Russia, has something that they can hang over the head of our president or our administration uh, that can influence U.S. policy, it is very much in our national security interest to know it.